guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Melissa here and I have a massive clothing haul for you guys. So I haven't done one of these in quite some time so I thought it was about time to do one. I've been collecting things for the last couple months. I would do a nice big ol' back to school clothing haul because a lot of you guys have already started school, a lot of you guys are going to school or starting school in a few weeks. I am personally not going back to school so this is just honestly an excuse to do some shopping. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe down below. Also follow me on my Instagram, it is at threadsobsessed. And also follow me on my Depop, it is Melissa8. And I'm holding this because I wanna show you guys the color that I have on my lips is NYX or NYX Liquid Suede in LSCLO. One, in case you were wondering. By the way, I know I don't have a what to wear Wednesday today, but instead I have a clothing haul. I've just had a bunch of very busy weekend, a very busy week, and another busy weekend next week. I'm actually kind of going on a few vacations up to cottages and stuff. So I only have like two days this week to get things done, and my what to wear Wednesday takes up a good eight hours sometimes. So I just didn't have time this week. It happens, but instead I have a huge clothing haul, which I think is pretty good. And I I think you guys are gonna enjoy so let's just get right into the video okay I guess I will just start with this big old bag I went to guess and I never ever go into guess honestly like, this is the first time I've been into get into a guess in probably years I used to shop at it when I was in like grade 9 I could not afford anything but I would go in and I would check it out and then I feel like it kind of like died down I don't know their fashion was just like I wasn't into it and then recently I decided to go take a peek and they have a lot of more like vintage looking pieces which you know I'm a thrifter I love vintage looking pieces so I picked up a few denim pieces actually and these are denim pieces that you do you will not see at the thrift store that's why I decided to pick them up so the first pair are these jeans and I'm living for these jeans so they are high-waisted and they're a little bit like baggier, but look at the side of them. It says guess on the side, like it is, they are beautiful. And then this is actually from the men's section and it was also on sale. And when I mean on sale, they're like $200 with 50% off. So it's not really a huge sale. Like the cutest, massive, most oversized denim jacket. It has the most beautiful embroidery all on the back. It has like this star on the side. It is super oversized. I love the wash. It also has like pinstripes on the back. Within the men's section so definitely check out the men's sections in like every store okay moving on to the next store I went to Urban Outfitters and I'm not gonna lie this is like one of the first times that I've been in and actually shopped at Urban Outfitters actually could get myself to buy anything from Urban Outfitters because that shit is hella expensive and half of it is in Valley Village or Tilly's I'm not gonna lie but it does it, it is it is pretty nice so the first thing is something that I would not find at a thrift store and it is this checkerboard skirt I love the zipper on it so I had to pick this up this is a perfect back-to-school staple it is not tight on the butt so that you were not showing too much off and it's a good length also and you guys know I've been living for that checkerboard patterns the uh, next top if you couldn't tell I'm like obsessed with these I don't even know what this is called someone told me on my video and now I forget but these shirts that are like fluffy this was on sale actually for $39.99 which is not very much of a sale but I was feeling a little bougie and decided to drop some dollar dollar bills on this I thought this was so adorable and honestly I can wear this into the fall time the last item that I picked up from Urban Outfitters are these cherry hoop earrings and I love hoops and I love cherries right now so when I saw these I had to have them. I actually wore these to the Drake concert and I got a lot of questions on them when I was there and a lot of you guys saw my snapchats and were like where are you get earrings from? They are from Urban Outfitters. I'm living for them. You definitely need to get your hands on some. And moving on to the next store. I actually went to Foot Locker and I actually went to Foot Locker two different times because I have two different bags. But the first time that I went, I got a few graphic t-shirts. I got this Adidas graphic t-shirt, and then I also got another Adidas graphic t-shirt, and I'm so excited to wear these because I haven't worn these yet. Actually, I wore this in one of my trip to the thrifts, but I haven't worn this one yet. So I'm pretty excited. I love the pink on it and it's very retro looking. So that's why I picked these two up and they weren't so bad. I think they were like two for 40, which isn't extremely bad. The second time that I went to Foot Locker, I got a pair of Jordans and these just like screamed at me as soon as I walked in the store. I wasn't expecting to buy anything. I honestly just went to get my nails done and Foot Locker was in the mall and I was like, mm. 
So I just went in and I actually purchased these for the Drake concert. Also, a lot of the stuff I wore to the concert along, along with the guest jeans. So I wore these. I think these are so bomb. They are so incredible. I am living for them. The piece that I went was Topshop and Topshop. God dang, that's expensive. I'm not gonna lie, like, that is expensive for some, like, refurbished and, like, vintage-looking stuff. So all I could afford was a hat, and I really, really like this hat. It says mood on it, which I think I got another shirt that's, like, really similar to this. But I love hats, and I've been wearing hats a lot recently, so I picked this up. It was around $30, and it was also in the men's section. The next place that I went or that I ordered off of was Romwe, and I picked up this two-piece set. It is that gingham or like checkerboard kind of print. Sadly, this is way too big for me, so if you want this, I will be putting this up on my Depop because sadly it is sold out on the website, but I'll link a bunch of cute two-pieces that I really like from Romwe. And I also got this necklace from Romwe. It's a choker, and it's just this beautiful star like choker and honestly this looks exactly like that fawn star website or whatever those chokers except this is like 10 times less expensive. I think this was around $10. And the next store or the next online shopping store is Shein or Shein Sai and they sent me a few pieces to share with you guys as well. The first one I think you would have seen me wear a few videos ago and I've honestly been wearing a ton. It is this girl gang t-shirt. This is not sold out. They have a bunch on their website so I will also link this down below. I think this is so cute. And the next piece is this darling darling skirt and again it is that gingham or checkerboard pattern which I've been living for if you can tell from this haul. Beautiful floral embroidery and yeah you'll see in the try on but I think this is very very cute. Okay the next place that I went or that I ordered off of was Nike and I picked up these Cortez um, Nikes. I think that's how you say it. Nike Cortez. Cortez Basic SL. And these are literally my life. I've been seeing a lot of people wear them and I was like, okay, I need those shoes. I love the colorway. It's that primary color colorway, so I had to have it. And these are kid size. They have women's and men's, which are like 150 But if you get the kid size, they're like $70 or $80, which is a lot different of a price point so if you are into these definitely buy the kids if you have small enough feet please do that these are the perfect back to school shoe I'm not gonna lie I'd be rocking them every day back to school okay another company that sent me some stuff or actually just one thing is an Instagram company they reached out to me and sent me this gorgeous bright ass orange you guys know I love color so they sent me this massive oversized t-shirt and it says don't get lost in the sauce I think that's such a cute shirt and slogan so I'm definitely gonna style this for you guys I'm gonna post an Instagram styling it for you guys because I think it's awesome and supporting small businesses is what I'm all about it is a brand called melanin movement I think that's how you pronounce it I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong but oh, I'll just show you guys it so this is what it looks like I will have their Instagram right here I love it and they have I love what they stand for and all of that so definitely check them out Okay, the next place was Forever 21, and I haven't been really liking Forever 21 all that much recently, honestly. Um, their online website's a little bit better than their in-store, but the first thing that I got are these sunglasses, and I've wanted a pair of sunglasses like these for so long, for the whole entire summer, and obviously I wait until August to pick them up. I actually got these yesterday when I was at the mall, so this stuff is actually from yesterday. I don't know why I've been loving this mood or like moody kind of trend saying or whatever, but I got this top, and it's just the graphic t-shirt, and it says moody, but the O's are hearts, and I thought that was just so cute. And then the next piece that I picked up there was a skirt and it's just this yellow corduroy skirt with like a raw hem. I've been living for skirts recently. I don't know why. Also living for this combo. Like how cute would that be? The next place that I want, went was H&M and I picked up two things from there and I couldn't decide between both so I ended up getting 
both and they're very very similar the first shirt that I got is this blue and red pinstripe shirt and it ties in the front I'm really into pairing like a casual pair of shorts or casual bottoms with like a more dressy top my style has really evolved and really changing recently so this is definitely something I'm into um, it also has a cute little saying on the sleeve it says girls bite back then I also saw this one which is very similar with the tie in the front it's just not tied but it is this red and white pinstripe again it was the same price $34.99 and I'm definitely going to be pairing these with some denim shorts or some Levi's and like how much of a look would this be okay the next place that I went was Zara twice and I have been going in on that Zara sale I'm not gonna lie so the first pair of booties that I picked up were these yellow booties and if you guys have been here for a while you guys know I'm a yellow girl I love yellow the next piece is actually not on sale it was just like regular priced but I saw this on the website and then I saw it in stores and I had to have it it's super colorful it is just this long like kind of maxi dress it hits just below the calf it has these buttons like all down the side you can open them up so your leg shows a little bit more piece I actually didn't try on yet to be honest but it was really inexpensive it was $5.99 from $17.90 just this yellow and white and black mystery shirt if you see my videos like my other videos you'll see that I use this font a lot pretty like different looking with the one sleeve so for $5.99 I thought I might as well and then I also picked up a pair of jeans and I am digging these jeans they're only $15 from $50 so I as soon as I saw these I thought they were so cool they actually have rips all down the front of them like just the where the calf is which I'm living for I thought this was such a like different kind of piece so I had to get it picked up a pair of wide leg or culotte kind of white denim pants and I don't have any like good white denim pants only $15 which is such a steal for a good pair of jeans so I picked these up they have a cute little belt on the front and then on the back they just have like a tie up like a string tie up so I thought this was pretty cool I hopped into garage really quickly and I never go into garage but I saw this hanging in the front window and it is just again one of those like fuzzy kind of tops tank tops but this was like literally the exact same one that Urban Outfitters was selling that I wanted to pick up a while a while ago to layer it was very 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 expensive from Urban Outfitters like 50 bucks this one was only $16.95 if you have an, um, a garage near you definitely go check it out the next store that I went to was Vans and I got sucked into it and I purchased the Vans Times Peanuts Vans and they are so freaking adorable and they're a collector's item like they're a limited edition which my dad is a very big like collector and like collects a lot of cards and things like that so I feel like I have a little bit of that inside of me where when I see something that's limited edition I like have to have it but again these are I didn't just buy it for those that reason they are extremely cute and look at the box like I'm definitely keeping them in the box like it is just adorable it's like this comic strip and and so I picked these up and it says good grief on the tongue like how cute is that also while I was there I had to pick up another just casual pair of Vans and I picked up these red and white checkerboard Vans I literally live in my other checkerboard Vans so I thought I would add another pair to the collection just to switch it up a little bit more so I found myself attracted to these ones they're also the cobalt blue or like the blue navyish kind of color ones so I I picked these up so from Vans I picked up the Vans times peanut socks they're like socks and they have the little peanut guy so I thought that was cute to like pair with each other and then I also picked up these just like Vans socks it comes in black blue and red so I thought that was a cute touch to wear with my van that concludes this massive back to school haul I hope you guys enjoyed it I don't know if you guys do like these videos and want more of them just let me know I did some damage here so if you did like it make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video bye